Hello everybody, Atlanta JDM here today with a special treat. I've got a 1992 AutoZam AZ1. It's small, it's adorable, it's quirky, it's got going doors, it's loud, it's a little fast. And all around just one of the more popular Casey Dosha cars. Everyone always asks about it. And here it is in the flesh. Funny thing, the first YouTube video I ever did was on a red AZ1, and it was god awful. It was probably the worst thing I've ever seen in my life. Obviously, when I signed up to do this, not an actor, I signed up for the cars. Um, I just do the videos to kind of give my two cents, show off the car and mainly for out-of-state people, but I will try not to butcher this video like the other one. Um, this one in particular is just a really clean example of an AZ-1, 100% um, rust-free. Uh, it's got a lot of aftermarket goodies on the inside. It is surprisingly really loud compared to um, a lot of AZ-1s or Casey Doshas that we've gotten in. And I mean, our guys overseas like really, really set the bar high on this one. Like this is just an exceptionally clean car. I was not really, I mean, not was, but I'm just not really comfortable driving this car because I'm a little bigger. My feet are a little big, but uh, the trade-off is worth it in the end. You know, you just got to kind of cram up in there, but we'll go over all that later on. So like I always do, I go over the outside of the car I'll show you any boo-boos dings damage all the above really you just got some fading on the wheels it comes with age but really the big only boo-boo is just this light paint fade um, on both of the quarter panels in the rear now it is an older car Japanese paint is not the greatest and the cars do bake over there so that is pretty common for a lot of cars and um just one thing too you know the car does show indication that it was repainted in japan and usually i'm not really big on japanese paint jobs this one actually isn't too too bad i think you got a little chip right here on the hood but yeah just a really cool looking car and the bumper it's actually a rocket rice rocket ricer bumper uh that's actually the real name and i wasn't a big fan of it at first but it kind of adds a little more of an aggressive look to it i mean it looks like a ladybug but now it just looks like an angry ladybug and we do actually plan on taking the bumper off and matching the paint with the factory gray i don't know the exact like name or code but getting it to match this gray on each of the side skirts and the bumper just so it kind of flows a little better but um inner touring stern wheels i'd never heard of them until we got this car but it's got some derezas on it like really good tires i think it's like 200 shred wear so i mean this thing is like gripped to the ground like you're it's a really really good car to take on turn on on corners and uh, ideally, you know, on the tail would be a blast. But uh, let's look at the inside. Obviously, huh, let me just go ahead and pop both of these open for y'all because this is what y'all want to see. Y'all don't want to hear me talking. Hold on. That's it. That's what everyone makes a big deal about. All hail the wing. Shocks are in good condition, which is awesome. Um, we do have a replacement part for those now, though, after doing a lot of research. So, uh, but yeah, glad that they came in good, nice and strong, not going anywhere. The original seat with a little bit of uh, fading on the bolster, on the side bolster from some wear and tear, even on that side. <laughs> But this is the original uh, two-tone that came with a lot of the AZ-1s. All of them, I think. 
uh, aftermarket Momo steering wheel. It's got this like carbon fiber wrap on the hood, which looks all right. It doesn't look terrible. Looks pretty cool. A couple scratches with age, but just on that side. The rest of it looks pretty good. Oops. Um, and as you can see, like I was saying earlier, not the most comfortable to drive because the pedal placement's really, really close together, but you do get used to it. Another cool thing too is it's got the factory AZ1 roof covers, I guess is what they're called. Really hard to find those though. AC is ice cold, which I'll show you guys in the driver. And I think I'm gonna drive this to the Tuesday night meet and do the video going down the highway and hanging out with old Taurus and Apex and Chills group. Um, let's see, you got a turbo time. Now this thing has a, the digital clock, a turbo timer, the uh, Defi boost gauge, and I believe that is for the stereo in the back, or it's got some aftermarket speakers on the side. I haven't plugged in a Bluetooth to check it out, but I'm assuming that is what that is. Um, and one thing too, I like to say is, you know, the foam, this is the original like foam, the original seat. A lot of owners in Japan actually take out all this foam. It's actually how Cameron's AZ-1 came in, but they take out the foam to add more room because there's no like scooting back at all. Like you are kind of just, you got the space you got. It's the, the AZ-1 is the least comfortable of the three ABC Keishi Doshas. Um, but, you know, driving it is what makes it worth it. It's the most fun, hands down. And you get more attention than anything else because, I mean, just look at the thing, dude. Um, this car has, oh, and it's also got a, let's see, the Rice Rocket, same as the bumper but the Rice Rocket Cluster that came for the AZs. <coughs> and also the Rice Rocket Cluster for the temp gauges and the AC and the fan and all that good stuff. Um, oh yeah, it's got 88,707 kilometers. And that is, pull out my phone. 55,126 miles, so super low mileage for this AZ-1. And, I mean, I don't know if you've been watching, but the car definitely reflects that. It's got these aftermarket straps that match the uh, leather on the shift boot and the handbrake. Looks all right, doesn't look bad. Um, I guess we will open the trunk, the frunk. Check all that good stuff out. Definitely age took its toll on the front AZ-1 badge. So, now this one's actually got front brace, rear brace, and it's also got more, or another brace for more reinforcement. Um, no spare tire, does have the changing, or tire changing equipment. Uh, usually for AZ-1s though, the spare tire came behind the uh, driver's seat, which you can see they covered it up with this felt, but that's where they factory, or that's where the tire, spare tires came factory, but then it became a safety precaution. I believe that's what I've heard. So they moved it up to the front. This guy, I don't know, I guess he ran his car through the auction and just deboed his spare tire. I don't know. Um, you've got some Navis coilovers, which... I mean, they're like the t bottom tier coilovers offered for AZ-1, AZ-1s, sorry. But, uh, you know, even though they're, you know, bottom tier, they're still quite expensive and hard to get here due to shipping with hydraulics. So we're kind of glad that it came with that. Um, yeah, let's go look at it. Best part, rear engine. It's like a baby MR2. <clears throat> and look at that that looks familiar it's because it's pretty much a cappuccino engine um 
yeah man i mean really clean engine bay uh the temp gauge inside the car does not work so it's got this um in the rear which is kind of pointless when you're driving but i guess when you pull over you can check the temperature uh nice little air filter straight from auto zone no i'm just kidding we didn't i mean it came like that i'm just making a not so funny joke and yeah three cylinders 660 cc's turbocharged the norm for Keishi Dosa, Keishi Doshas. it's got a gigantic mac daddy exhaust which is a juvie juvel sorry if i pronounced it wrong um but yeah just coming around the corner this car does not sound like it's got three cylinders it is super loud and uh Hold on one second. Sorry, sales call. Um, where were we? Yes, we were admiring the beautiful engine bay. And the only thing that would make it more beautiful is if I just turn on the car and let you guys hear the monster in the back. ATC reader. And just to show you the little boosty boost. Five speed manual. Yeah. Oh, it just, it's just glorious. There's the throttle right here. Uh, just a freaking really nice AZ1 but I'm gonna go like I said to the Tuesday night meet here in a minute and I'll do some GoPro footage on the way down there so I'll be back in just a moment all right so I did not go to the Tuesday night meet or I did go to the Tuesday night meet the video footage was really really crappy so I'm not sure if this video is going to be too dark, but I'm on the way to the Tuesday night meet. So I decided to do it again. These guys next to me, this Mustang. Um, so I decided to do it again real fast on the way home. Tomorrow's caffeine and octane. So just trying to catch some Z's. But uh, driving this home from the shop, absolute blast on the interstate. Obviously keeping up with traffic, but really not going over more than you know like 65 miles per hour i mean i was going 80 for a little bit but i wasn't trying to like really overdo it um driving like to the interstate which i'll try to catch some footage right here um not much up until you get to like 5,000 rpm um but this thing is just you got a little limiter too huh? it is just so freaking loud it sounds so angry oh man like I'm excited. I take back almost every negative thing that I've ever said about an AZ-1, but definitely driving an AZ-1, I regret like everything I've eaten in the last like month and a half, probably two years. Uh, <laughs> uh, oh man, but I mean, uh, so it's got a, I guess a boost limiter, I don't know. I don't know if you heard it earlier dinging, but it was, it maxes out at about 80 kilopascals, which is how, uh, you know, Japanese, they, well, you know, got to have their own, uh, or their different, uh, whatever, metric system. Uh, that is around 11 pounds of uh, boost, though, and I'm not really sure what these things came stock, but, uh very peppy compared to the other two az ones that we've gotten in for sure and um very loud kind of like the white mr2 there's not as much noise as the white mr2 was though but i mean you can just hear the blow off valve is 
awesome awesome car good job Flavian actually good job me because I found this one on the auction no one wanted to look at it but I'm glad we did because this was definitely a good buy the visibility in this car is garbage though and honestly after a while you kind of get used to the shitty pedal placement um, you know my legs are the most comfortable but the top of my body surprisingly is pretty comfortable I've got still pretty good headspace being six foot and uh, you know uh, when Rick was in the car though like your passenger you're you're like buddy buddy with them like uh, you're pretty close unfortunately um, but still manageable you know you can still shift and all that stuff so yeah when I was going to the Tuesday night meet the reason why I can't use that footage was it was just really dark and the um, dash does not light up only the needles light up so I had to kind of memorize where 100 kilometers was and have Google Maps open just to make sure I wasn't like speeding or anything you know stupid like that um, and it's getting dark now but it's all good These people always sketch me out getting off this exit But yeah, man, this one is just a really fun car. Uh, the steering wheel is like pretty much the same Momo as the uh, R33, like the layout. So really comfortable, uh, good grippy. Um, just so low to the ground in this thing. I accident on the other side. Um, but yeah, let's see. I'll kind of show you getting off this exit. What it's like not just you know driving on the interstate staying at a constant speed kind of the build up to it not looking forward to getting to my apartment because speed bumps and I'm worried about the bumper which I think in the walk around I said the right wrong name it's a rocket ricer R bumper what's up girl <laughs> oh man It's always funny like in traffic that uh, up and coming just sitting at the light and it's just the ultimate flex just to open the door and everyone's just losing their shit whoops oh come on man I wish you could see the dash so I guess I'll just count it up. Oh man, that's kind of crappy. It's at four, five, four now, three and a half. See, there's nothing till now. Anyway, still very fun car. Glad we picked it up. What else was I going to talk about? I was thinking of something else. Huh. I don't know. Yeah, I think that's going to be it. I can't think of anything else. Um, see y'all next time. Peace.